this is the before Harry Potter then we gonna see Scapiana Oh my god, so yes, I finally have my short pixie cut that I did in collaboration with RPG Show Honey. She's something to get into. See, this spring and summer, we're doing it very different, and I want you guys to stay tuned. I like the sleek look, sis. I think it definitely does a lot for the face. This is like so appropriate because you don't have to worry about, you know, the hair sitting on your back, your shoulders. You know what I'm saying? You can feel real free, real flowy. This is like, you can flow to this. Okay, this is super cute. What do we think? Hopefully you enjoy it. Be sure to check out RPG show right now to catch those promotions, catch those sales, sis. You don't want to delay. But I also want to tell you, join the family, subscribe, turn your notifications on. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling the look, because this is true auntie tease. And um, share this with your homeboys, your homegirls. Let them know all about the slayage, because this was definitely different for me. And Kiki with me in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And I hope I see you in the next one. So let's get into it. But I did want to show you guys like my first impression of how this unit looks straight out the box. I'm excited and I want to get into it. Right now I'm giving you a little bit of Harry Potter. But just give me a moment and I'm going to do Scalpiana. And you're going to live, okay? You're going to live. Oh, oh my God. Oh my okay let me get myself together let me get myself together and position this wig cap correctly rpg show you already know they have some of the best lace out there i don't know why we're going to debate this but we're not um let's get into it since I'm, I'm hyped now i'm hyped so this is lace front wig style number taste pink 004 and after situating the unit one of the first things i like to do is use a hot comb to help kind of collect the hair and pull it backwards away from the hairline this is so important if you're a beginner it's a really good step but check out that hairline says melted already but i like to use these clips to help secure the hair away from my face and use my favorite scissors to go in and trim the lace now i'm using a jagged motion which is so important so you create a more realistic line as you're trimming Now you guys know RPG Show has amazing lace because it's transparent and it blends into the skin. Look at that. I can't make this up, sis. I'm already giving natural vibes. Now after sliding the unit back, I'm going in with the Got To Be Ultra Glued Styling Gel and using this Comb Duo brush to apply a very thin layer. And then I like to follow up with the Got To Be Free Spray, first spraying it on the back end of the comb and then applying it. This makes it a lot neater. And then I'm gonna slide that unit down and use a rat tail to press the lace. Again, you should use a very gentle hand. Of course, I'm gonna let this set for about 15 to 30 minutes because I want that lace to be melted, sis. And after about 15 to 30 minutes, I'm gonna go in and remove the scarf and the strip. And I just tweezed a little portion of the hair near the parting space, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go for a more everyday, very wearable look for the girls and boys who don't want to do too much. So I'm just slicking the hair back on the left side. And then for the right side, I'm going to do a little bit of action. You know, I'm going to take about a one and a half to two inch flat iron and just add a little bit of a curl to the hair. And I feel like this is so much more wearable and it's easy to maintain on a daily basis. And I like using mousse when styling my hair for this particular style option because it gives it a little bit more body. You can mold the hair more so, which I think is a lot more beginner friendly. Now, as I move towards the top of the hair, I'm going to kind of maneuver the 
flat iron in such a way where I have a little bit more of an accentuated curl so that when I apply that mousse, I can mold the curl to flow, you know, towards the back so I can have that flip over method that everybody loves. Yes. And so again, I'm just using my fingers a little bit of mousse to really mold that hair and shape it and sis. And of course, use this little wax stick to tame any flyaways and to give it a more sleek, kind of polished look. And for a little bit more hold, I mean, the density on this is 200% density. It definitely shows through this beautiful, gorgeous color. Ugh, I love it. And I was just fixing up the part a teeny bit, just a little bit, but this is definitely optional. Now I wanted to work on the layers at the back, but I just used a little bit of mousse to slick it down, but I definitely think layers would work a lot better in that area. And noticed I gave you Scalpiana with no baby hairs. I definitely think this is like so cute, okay? So cute, definitely a look. So to take it up a notch, I'm going to adjust the position of my part using my eyebrow like right at the arch as a guide and then I'm just going to you know flat iron the hair so it flows over and I'm taking down just a little bit of baby hairs okay just a little bit I'm using this razor comb to trim them and mousse goes a long way you don't need gel you don't need pomade you can use a very modest amount and a light hand and get the same effect because the hairline on this is honestly amazing but this is you know another alternative for the girls who want a little bit more pizzazz and i just feel like this looks like natural hair to the t like and once you put the eyeshadow the concealer or the pressed powder in the parting space it takes it to a whole new level but i am in love with this unit i definitely think it's such a look like definitely check out rpg show and use code taste pink for 50 dollars off your purchase what do you think about this look let me know if you're feeling it i know it's a little bit more on the high end but honey it is so worth it thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this and i look forward to seeing you in the next one